Hey guitar mates, after three months of waiting my new guitar amp arrived today. As you maybe know I had no luck with my Ref G120. Each amp I got uh, had another issue and after three faulty amps I finally gave up. Anyway, now another amp is in the house and I hope it helps me to reach another level in sounding. So now it's time to open the box and take a look at the EVH 5150 Mark III Stealth Edition. So here's the foot switch, built out of metal, massive, with a long cable. Looks pretty good. That's how our foot switch should be built. Massive. Then the manual. Cable, uh, power cable, speaker cable, that's pretty neat and uh, pretty unusual. Normally you don't get a, a speaker cable with the amp. Here's the amp and it looks, it looks, it looks great. Handles on the side, great. A handle on top, great. Channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, 3 presence knobs. It looks so great. And now the back side. What do we have here? This is for the power cable. Very smart. Then we have three knobs for resonance. Power switch on the back. Not a big fan of the power switch on the back. And a standby switch on the back. Bias measure points, that's fine. Impedance. We use 8 ohm, so switch to 8 ohm. And output check. Then we have a send and return and a, a preamp out, which is similar to a line out. And the check for the foot switch. That's it. I think it's time to install the beast and check it out. It looks so great. So let's start with channel 1, the green channel. EVH calls it uh, the clean channel, but I would say it's more a grunge, a classic uh, distortion channel. My signal chain is straight into the amp then into the fried load box, from the line out into the AGX stomp and then into my Apollo audio interface. The AGX stomp acts as an IR loader and provides any effects if required. All knobs of the amp are in the middle position and currently I'm using the bridge pickup of my guitar. There's already a plenty of distortion in the middle position, so let's try to max out the gain to see what's possible. Now 
Next I will reduce the gain to get in the territory of crunch. Yeah, but for me it's a bit too floppy on the low end. So let's engage an EQ in front of the amp. Okay, now let's switch to the single coil position on the guitar and add some delay. Yeah, that's much better. Now let's try to disengage the EQ pedal and modify the EQ on the amp. For this I'm turning the resonance knob on the back completely down. On the front I decrease the bass and increase the treble. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. So let's continue with the next channel. It's the mid gain channel or channel 2. For dialing in the sweet spot of the channel, I've recorded a simple riff. By using the reamping technique, we can now check how each pot affects the tone. <laughs> I like this setting, but let's now switch guitars to check what happens when the EQ pedal is engaged in front of the amp. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, now we are talking. That's a high gain sound I really like, even if EVH calls this channel the mid gain channel, which is kind of strange. But anyway, let's head over to channel 3, the official high gain channel, and check out what's coming next. Okay, that's the sound with all knobs in the middle position, but wait, before we dial in my preferred sound, let's compare the red channel with the blue channel by setting the controls identically. As you've may heard, the channels have a different voicing and I would say the red channel has a little more gain than the blue channel. But now let's dial in my preferred sound for the red channel. Now let's engage a tube screamer and an EQ pedal in front of the amp to check out if there's any difference. As you could hear, both pedals work great. And if you wonder which IR I've used, it's the IR which comes along with the chuck pedal, simply because it's one of the best I have. 
But now it's finally time to have some more fun, so let's engage a delay and a doubler on the HX Stomp. <laughs> As you may know from my videos in the past, it's the same here. This is not a sponsored video and I don't get paid for the making. The amp has been purchased with my own money and that's totally fine. The amp is clearly made for heavy rock and metal, but it's also possible to get some crunchy blues tone out of the green channel and if you roll back the volume on your guitar, you can get closer to the clean territory. But uh, channel 1 is not a real clean channel and it's pretty hard to get a completely clean tone out of it. So please keep this in mind. What should I say to the blue and the red channel? Both sound as great as an amp for heavy rock and metal can sound. It's simply perfect. The blue channel is a bit tighter and therefore better for the resin. In case you want a tighter sound, I recommend to put an EQ or Tube Screamer Resk pedal in front of the amp. That's a nice option for low money. The only thing I'm missing is a built-in noise gate. The street price is around 2 grand, which is totally fine for a 3 channel, 100 watt full tube amp with effects loop, foot switch and in perfect build quality. So here's my rating, the EVH 5150 Mark III uh, Stealth Edition gets a solid 4.9 out of 5 metal hands and if it would have a built in noise gate I would easily give it full score. Thanks for watching and see you soon on this channel possibly with a review of this guitar and this will become very very interesting. I promise.